explain and maybe we won't I don't know kill you or whatever so what I don't even fully understand what's happening all I know is they've awoken something and I, I they awoke something thinking that they could control it and uh, I I was advised to try and stop that. I don't really have a good reason to tell you anything, because you're just going to kill me anyways. All right. So don't sim again. <laughs> <laughs> let's clear up a couple of things. First of all, who is they? I don't even know. Well, I. What do you know? I know there's some kind of ancient being that has been awoken we didn't understand the nature hold on hold on real quick you just said we which implies you are part of they so tell me who is we and who is they so i said we because I know who did it, and I've been using they because I didn't agree with doing it in the first place. A noble one, are you? Dunks several times. <laughs> <laughs> Stop using complex phrases. Speak clearly or drown. <laughs> um. We. So, they awoke this, like, ancient consciousness, believing that they could use it to amass an army, I suppose. I don't know what they intended to do with it. They probably just wanted to figure out... And I was trying to oppose that. And now there's nothing standing in their way. Hmm. Uh, can I roll an insight check to see if he's being truthful? Absolutely. As soon as you roll that, I'm going to dunk him again, just FYI. Because okay. I'm, I, I don't like how he Nat keeps 20. saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. Boy, he's well, lying. <laughs> so, like, you can discern that as far as he knows, he's telling you the truth. Okay. Uh, like, he believes he is right, and he believes that he is telling you the truth. All right. Um, Shantrak, might I be able to persuade you to put the man back on his feet just for a moment? <sighs> That's gonna take some convincing, Chief. I dunk him again. Please? <laughs> um. Okay. So he, like, sets the guy down <laughs> and immediately takes out, like, longsword. <laughs> sure. Uh, as you're setting him down, I need you to make a dexterity check. Okay. Eight. Fantastic. Good well it lasted. <laughs> um, yeah. So, as you're trying to set him down, he just kind of, like, shifts, and you lose grip of him for a second. And for a brief second, he's on the ground, and nothing's holding on to him. What do you mean? So he's going to try and get up to him. He's oh, going to... Oh, oh, so oh, right oh, now, I see, I see. Yep. Chandrak just has dropped him. Yep. Uh... And so he's laying on the ground. He's going to try and get up and run. Okay. Right. Uh, I would like to, <laughs> as quickly as I can, shoot him in the ankle with an arrow. <laughs> All right. Roll in Yes. Uh, get okay. him, Rob. <laughs> uh, 23. How, clo how close Ooh. are you? 
You tell me. I mean, I was standing like a, a, like two feet from Shantrak. I don't know where he's so, trying to scurry off. Right, here. I'm going to have you roll with advantage because right now he's prone. Oh. He's trying to get up, but I'm, I'm still going to say he's prone he's, and that's he's, a range he's attack. Just, he's just trying to get up? Is it clear to me he's trying to escape? Uh, that uh, you aren't sure he it looked like he tried to wrench himself from Shantrak's grasp and now he's on the ground and trying to yeah, get just up. just give him an arrow to the leg that's fine uh, he no, won't I be an adventurer bad anymore anyway i already said what i said uh 27 <laughs> <laughs> yeah so he's definitely he never adventuring again the calf, <laughs> yep. and uh he was like on his way like to get up off the ground and he just kind of falls flat good can you still speak, friend? Yeah, I can still speak. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I have good news for you. I believe you. I believe you truly were trying to put a stop to whatever this ancient power is that I believe you know more about than you're letting on. So, what we're going to do uh, is 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 he a is he a human? He is a drow. A drow. That's right. You told us that. Okay. Right, right, right. What we're going to do, if my friend here agrees. Is we are going to take you to New Harrington and hold some kind of civilized court to get information out of you. Alternatively, we can keep you out here and continue this um, exercise of, you know, half swimming. I don't know what you would call it, Shantrak. Um, fun lake times. Sure, call it what you will. <laughs> Do you agree we should take this person to court? <laughs> so Shantrak like picks him up and is like gonna carry him wherever we're going. <laughs> now, let me inform you, friend. You try to escape again. My arrows will strike true. You will not get far. And then I'll cut off your ears. That seems a bit overkill. <laughs> no, you, friends, let me assure you it is the perfect amount of kill. <laughs> we are quite experienced. <laughs> so, like, I guess we go, yeah? Uh, so, what do you guys hope to gain from this? So I mean... You don't even know what I was trying to do. I doubt, I highly doubt you're going to agree with my methods. Um, Why don't you just get it over with? How long does it take to get back to New Harrington from here, Aaron? Um, I believe we've established it was about an hour hike. Okay. Well, you have about an hour to tell us everything you know. And... We'll decide from there, but the people from New Harrington seem quite intelligent about this kind of thing you're describing. They have a lot of info there that I believe might be helpful. And so with you and your experience and them with their knowledge, maybe we'll be able to make some progress on this threat you claim to be happening. And if they prove that the threat is not there, well, we'll decide from there. In addition... Justice killings after a court are much more fun. And I'm curious what the people have On account of the anticipation leading up to said kill. So, there's also some enjoyment attached <laughs> right well uh so they awoke this thing hold can you tell us who they is please i'm not a big fan of pronouns <sighs> So, I'm part of an order called the Kingdom of Lost Hope. We 
a group of necromancers and liches uh, who are trying to break down the barrier between the prime material plane and the astral plane. I'm good for killing, how about you? <laughs> well, let's give the man a chance to speak his mind, because he did claim that his cause was noble, and I am... <clears throat> I'll, I would like to explore that at least a little further. Um, pardon our crudeness, but what is your name, friend? Hmm. I'm Garrett! <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Garrett me, the Necromancer killed, Giraffe. Making me, <laughs> you're making me name this, uh... Yeah, I am. Join name the club, this Necromancer dude. I expected you to kill. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Kaldin. Okay. okay. Well, Cal, this kingdom... Of lost hope that you describe. I understand at least what you're trying to do, but I don't understand why. Have you lost someone that you care about deeply? I'm gonna hesitate to speak. For enough time to make it obvious that I have, but I'm not going to admit that. You don't need to answer that. Your silence says enough for you. I, me and my my uh, companions at the Kingdom from for Lost of Lost Hope do not feel that this is just or right that we should be separated from those that we care about so dearly. And so what we're trying to do is bring down that barrier that separates us from the life that they know now. What do you think, Shentrek? I think we kill him after he tells us where his friends are. That's... <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to admit that in an inter interrogation process, but um, I don't yeah, as far as know. interrogations go, that's not doing a lot to help me help you. Uh, on. We did not ask you, Cal. Did <laughs> we were having a conversation? <laughs> well, I mean, you're not really trying to hide it. No, but we did not include you. <laughs> I flip, I grab him by the ankles again, and I. You what? So I swing him, <laughs> I grab the dude by the ankles again. Yep. Because I have him on my back. Like, I picked him up. Sure. So I'm swinging him around to his ankles again, and I'm going to dunk him two times. But we're nowhere, we're, we're on the hike right now. <laughs> oh, just... we already started hiking? I thought we were still on the island. You should do the same movement. But, uh, wait, Aaron, are we still on the island, or are we still, are we hiking now? You guys didn't specify, but I assumed you had started moving. Okay. okay, cool. Well, I think you should still do the same movement, but just into the forest <laughs> <laughs> He does. He does that. Really? Do you need me to roll damage? <laughs> no. Uh, I want you to roll strength. <laughs> okay, cool. Two. Dang it, not one. You drop him on his head. Fantastic. <laughs> That's fine with me. He He's not running away. Because he's unconscious. <laughs> uh, and so he's gonna be unconscious for the remainder of the hike. So I, I just hear, I, I'm assuming I was walking in front and talking to him behind me, but uh, <laughs> do I, just, I I hear the thud on the ground and I see Shantrak. I'm assuming with his arms out, but with nothing. In them. And and uh, I'm I'm just I'm just gonna. Uh, did you kill him? Um. <laughs> uh, 
Um, is he breathing, Shantrak? Check his breathing. <laughs> Shantrak checks if he's breathing. <laughs> Roll a medicine check. Sweet. Oh, gosh. I don't even think I have medicine stats. We're going to find out, though. Oh, no, I do. That's actually very encouraging. Okay. Okay. I'm actually not bad at medicine. 15. Okay. 15. Okay. okay. So <laughs> he's alive. He is in incredibly rough shape because he was just attacked to the point of almost dying, waterboarded, <laughs> and shot in the calf with an arrow, and has since been dropped on his head. So he's not doing great. But he's alive. Oh, oh that's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. 